Rock! My name's Armenian. This is Chadillac. Supermoto Thursday. We're headed down to, uh, yeah, straight. Yeah, we're headed down to meet up with uh, some other jokers down here. Uh, we're gonna get into a little bit of trouble, see what happens. We might end up at some sort of a bike night somewhere, but uh, who knows. Um, I know it's been a while since I've posted a video, so uh, I brought my camera with me today so I can do a little video vlog and let you guys know what's been going on with me here lately. So what's been going on with Armenian? Well, uh, multiple things. I've been pretty busy at work here lately. Since about April, May time frame, I've been working at a local data center. It's a new construction, and um, basically I'm a, I'm a field service type of a guy uh, for my company, and, and this uh, data center is uh, really, really big, and they purchased uh, switch gear from my company, electrical switch gear, 480 volt type, and uh, the, the facility, uh, it's a, a data center. If you guys don't know what a data center is, it's really nothing fancy. It's just a place where people store information. Companies, stuff like that. Usually larger companies, banks, financial institutions and shit. This data center that I'm working at, it's a really big one. It's a large construction. It's uh, the... I'm not going to name the name of it just for, you know, whatever reasons. I don't want, like, anybody to come back and say that I violated some sort of uh, privacy policy or whatever the hell this crap is. And they're, they're pretty high strung at this data center as far as security, but uh, what I can tell you is uh, it's a 22 megawatt facility. What does that mean? 22 million watts of power being utilized at the data center. That's a lot of watts, guys. That's a, it's kind of like a small town. It uses a lot of power, but they're constantly making money. These people are storing their data there. And anyway, so this uh, data center, they uh, purchased a bunch of our switch gear. And uh, I've been out there doing field service work, startup commissioning type work on the gear, testing and troubleshooting and uh, basically fixing, fixing shit that people uh, screwed up on when they installed our gear. Because what, what happens is um, the customer orders our switch gear. We send our switch gear out to the site on pallets in sections. And there's a contractor out there that takes the sections of the switch gear and sets the switch gear on the pads and they bolt them together and they torque all the connections and hook up all the connections and they don't always do all the connections right so I'm usually out there fixing their fuck ups so anyways I'm not gonna go on with that topic because it's kind of uh you know it's probably boring to you guys but anyways I'm, I'm on the uh, final phases of the project right now some of the other things that I've been doing besides work, I've been doing a, a lot of remodeling in my house. And what I basically did was I purchased a new television set because my old DLP TV was uh, going bad. I did some modifications uh, to my mantle in my living room. It's been a big project, man, you know. I don't know what it is about some of these projects at my house, but... They always start out pretty small and they they turn turn out being pretty big projects. Usually because I'm really anal or I screw up or something like that. I took my fireplace mantle and I cut it in half. I dropped it down and I lowered it so I could mount a, a flat panel TV over the fireplace. My current TV is located in one of my bedrooms and you know, it sucks to DLP TV. It's real heavy, it's a piece of crap. The screen is starting to go bad. Like one of the mirrors is like detaching itself from the adhesive. Or I mean, 
not detaching itself. One of the mirrors is basically detaching itself from its mount. So like when I turn the TV on and you look at the TV, it uh, it's got like a black line on the left hand side and it sucks. You know, so I made the decision to go ahead and get rid of it. And uh, what I did was I, uh, I ordered a TV from online. It's a Samsung 8000 series 60 inch TV. And uh, it's a real nice TV. And uh, it's my first online purchase of television. I actually just received it today. I was really sketchy about ordering a TV from online, but uh, it turned out real great. I ordered it from a place called abesofmaine.com. It showed up on my doorstep in six days, FedEx. And I basically saved about seven, eight hundred dollars because I didn't have to pay any taxes and they had a lower price than any, any of the retail outlets around here. And the TV retails for about $2,800 without taxes retail. And I basically got the TV for $2,000 plus I paid for the paid extra for uh, FedEx shipping. So it came out to be to about $2,300. I'm pretty happy with it though. Real nice TV. It's a 240 hertz. It's a smart TV. So it has Wi-Fi built in with a quad-core processor. I think I know who that guy is. I think I've ridden with him before on a road bike. What does In-N-Out Burger do? They do tasty burger treats. We've got a bunch of jokers over here about to ride through a tunnel. Standard issue concrete bridge, check. Oh, okay. up in this bitch. fucking bike out. <laughs> That's how you turn around, bitch. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing, Chad? I'm gonna put my feet up here on the radiator guards. Here comes Chad's brother. He's got the same fucking headlight. <laughs> you fucking scared the shit out of me. Did I? Oh, oh, my bad. this place we got fucking like 12 fucking bikes over here and shit supermoto Thursday high five edition yeah yeah video blog yeah yeah Oops, the 
Dallas cops. Protect and serve. Oh, the lights are bright. We're gonna go hit some trails and streets and a bunch of bullshit. Cops? No cops! I think we're gonna go hit some trails over off uh, Freedom Town. How many blocks are you doing, Chad? Blocks! Think of that, KTM. What's up, Marinko? What's up, son? What's up, Marinko? What you got? We got KTM hitting some blocks up in this bitch. Hell yeah. All right, all right. Still going. I believe that is a KTM 450 SMR. What's up, Blake? What up, Super Blake? What up, Super Blake? Blake, this guy's on a KTM doing wheelies down the interstate on his KTM. I think he's showing you up. That's what's up. Still going. Yeah, man. This is like fucking three mile long wheelie. I think we got a new wheelie champ over here. KTM wheelie champ. Ah, uh, my battery's starting to die on the GoPro. Still going. There we go. <laughs> Fuck yeah. All right. Bow down. Bow down to the one you serve, the KTM Supermoto Champion, right here. If you got better blocks than that, let's see it, KTM guys. Okay, Chad. All right, all right, Chad. Okay. Ah, oh, shit. Uh, and another wheelie. I think pretty much everybody has done a wheelie so far. That's a go up there. Oh shit, we gotta ride her down. You got it? Yeah, I came this way too. I just fucking pinned it. I was like, yeah. fuck that. I already started coming up. I was in the lid. I was like, fuck it. Yeah, okay. Alright. Next. Here comes our next victim. Randy Savage made it. Who's the next victim? Hulk Hogan. Here comes Hulk Hogan. Next. Oh, he's going to the left. Okay, all right, okay. Okay, here comes our next uh, victim. Yep, hit the little uh, jumpy treat there. Yeah. Next. Don't hit me, bro. There you go. Come at me, bro! Come at me, bro! <laughs> yeah. We have super motos and dirt bikes everywhere. Well, 
Oh, there goes Chad fucking around with it. Okay, Chad, I see what you're doing, son. I see what you're doing, Chad. I see what you're doing. Don't you wave your fucking hand at me, Chad. Chad, what do you have to say to fucking Fire Guy? Fire Guy, where you at, dude? Why you, why you being a poon, man? A poon. Poon. P-O-O-N. Yes, poon. poon. What about Garden Snake? Same, same boat, dude. Where you at, bro? We're riding. Come at me, bro. Come on, Garn Snake. You can win. I'm gonna come to your fucking house and beat the shit out of you, or what? We're gonna fucking kick your ass, man. We got a fucking motorcycle gang over here. We got fucking motorcycle gang fucking. We're a bunch of fucking hooligans over here, man. We're out here fucking. causing a fucking ruckus up in this bitch. We don't have the we don't have the snake with us. Look at this shit, garden snake. Look, son. What's up? Oh, garden snake. Where are you at? bro come at us bro come at us bro bro what could you be doing better on a thursday night than this garden snake huh what about you fire guy uh oh we're gonna have a safety meeting over here Are we going to have a safety meeting? Are we going to have a safety meeting over here? Who's your leader? <laughs> We're going to play hacky sack over here? Yeah. Who's the leader? Where's the leader? I think Chad looks like a good candidate. The circle is forming, I'm telling you. Yep, already. <laughs> Can you get in the highway there? Yeah, we'll be able to cut through the kitchen. Okay, yeah. We're wrapping it up, guys. I hope you enjoyed our uh, footage. Uh, about 12 or 15 bikes over here. Just fucking ripped it up Thursday night. We're gonna uh, jump out of here and call it a night. Uh, thanks for subscribing. Hope you guys enjoyed the footage. I'll catch y'all later.